Good morning We're from still alive. shadowy Las Vegas. Not a lot of light in this room. That's the only window that's not open. The other windows are all open and there's still not enough light. So that's okay. Filming will be interesting. Right. That's okay though because we're not going to stay in our hotel room very long. Joe's going to go and grab our car hopefully. Yeah. At the airport and then um, I'm going to preview some videos and then we're going to meet together and then go on the strip for a little adventure. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us at different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we go and explore the Vegas Strip, you'll be alerted to it. It is day 26, whoa, that, that kind of moved. Day 26 of the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Can we do it in Vegas? This is kind of weird. That's the question. Why do I seem so much taller than you? But I don't I'm know, not. I'm tiny. It's, you're like, it's- Hi. We've got the weirdest rental car. I've never rented a car that's like covered in scratches and- I know, and it's got a jumbotron weirdly in the front on the dashboard. It's but just it's like, like a like huge a super screen. basic car. We're used to Avis rent a car and this one came from budget because car rentals are expensive and- Yeah. We go, we go through Costco Travel. Costco Travel gives you some of the best rates. You log on to their website, like Budget or Avis, and it's like, hey, you can get this for like $200. And then all of a sudden, it's, that's not including tax and everything like that. So we pay like $200 less going through Costco. Yeah. But I've never gone to Budget before. And uh, might yeah. not be going back. I prefer Avis. But you know what? We got a rental car. And it was pretty inexpensive compared to everybody else. We're thankful for that. So um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do a live stream tonight, which is kind of a bummer. How is it the Bermuda Triangle of service here? I we, thought it would be like awesome. We have three different hotspots. We have a T-Mobile, we have Verizon, and we have an AT&T. AT&T is the best one. And it still doesn't look like it's going to be capable of doing a good live stream. Right. And I don't want to do something where a it's going to be nonsense. buffering. And I don't, I just don't think we're going to be able to do a live stream. And it's kind of a bummer. We've been trying to upload a video. Forever. That's only 14 minutes long. It is worse here than campgrounds. That's what I was going to say. It's like, we don't even have good internet compared to like when we're going camping a and campsite stuff. campsite in the wilderness. So we apologize for not having a live stream, but... Maybe we can do like an extra one next week or something like that. That seems fair. So uh, we're going to drive around. I'm hungry. That's first of all. We, Ready for we some only, breakfast? We only had those couple of burgers, but we're going to drive around. We're going to go over to the strip because we're not on the strip. We're just off of the strip because that's where the convention is. We're going to park someplace and then we're going to walk around the strip. We're going to look for something to eat. Tonight we're going to, I think, an all-you-can-eat steakhouse. Yum. Which I don't know if I want to wait till tonight. But you Drool. know what? We can have some eggs or something here and then still eat more because we're on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. So we can eat as much as we want. I love that. However many times a day. I if love that want. about this challenge. Where do you want to go on the strip? Caesars. You want to go to Caesars? I want to see what he's doing. Is he there? Is the actual Caesar there? I want to go to the stratosphere because I've never been to the stratosphere, but I think we need to go on that ride that like hangs up over the edge. Have you ever seen that? They say it's like the scariest ride. Well, that's know. not a good, that's not a good uh, advertisement for me. <laughs> want to go on the scariest thing ever? No. So we are going to start off at Old Town begin where it began yeah we're gonna take a walk on fremont street uh we just parked in one of those little lots last time i was in vegas there was no cost for parking nobody charged for it and then you had mgm and them started charging for parking so there's not only a few started. hotels not everybody like caesars the strat you don't have to pay for parking they have circus circus but down here but we're gonna go down here we're gonna kind of walk down fremont street see all this stuff i want to go to circus circus 
we got to go to Slots of Fun because if anybody still has coin slots, that's who's yes. going to have coin slots. And that's the one thing you do like, because you like coin slots. Pull the arm. We've got to do something with Anthony's dollar. you're the cat's meow. Aw, uh, are you sure you're not just reading that sign over there? Possibly. The cat's meow. So we've experienced the Fremont Street experience. Yeah, there's a lot of naked people. There, there is. Yeah, a lot of that. I thought that the naked cowboy guy was only- In New York? In New York, and that his cousin was down in Key West because I got my picture taken with him. There's a few of them here. There's a lot of naked men. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna head on, go up a little bit, and go to Circus Circus, and then we're gonna go hit the main strip. So, uh, Circus Circus isn't what it used to be. I know. It, one thing, it's not really hopping, probably because it's the middle of the week and everything, but there's not as many coin slots. We saw a couple, so we're gonna go take Anthony's dollar. And, yeah. And see if we can win something, but we're gonna use one of the coin slots. And we're gonna have Joe put the money in, because Rachel... No. We lost. That quickly. Get dollar back. Okay, Rachel's gonna give it a shot on the quarter ones. You lost. What a shock. Keep going. You lost. Keep going. Play two credits, maybe you'll do better. The other side. No, I'm Not just losing good, faster. Anthony. Okay, you've got one more and that'll put you at 70. Nope. Now it's 69. You just won! Yay! You only won 10. I made 75 cents. Time to cash out. Yeah, cash out. Got to feel in heaven when my lover's near. Lord, let this moment last for another year. Though today has ended, the night's still young, I'd say. Lover, don't go away. It is incredibly beautiful here. I think that Caesar's Palace is my favorite hotel so far. So far. So far. I thought it would be the Mirage, honestly. You didn't but like Fremont Street hotels? No, I don't think those are for me. Circus Circus, no. not so much, but this is beautiful. Let it be the thing that I am longing for. Let's fly out from Manhattan to the California shore Just to watch the ships at night on the San Francisco Bay Oh, lover, please, please stay Don't say you have to go Don't say you need to run Paul, that's my colors I am all about the orange and the brown and the green and the yellows. I mean, it is so beautiful here. Okay, 
I think this is my favorite place because I've never seen fall tricked out like it is here. It is gorgeous and everything is living. So we're in the Bellagio right now. I'm just kind of making our way up the strip. Well, is it good to be home, Joe? Not quite the same thing you as don't... actual New York. Yeah, well, it says New York, New York. It's not gonna be the same, but let's go inside. I'll stop the clock on Central Station and we can have a drink downtown. Let it be the night that I am longing for. Let's fly down south to Austin or to Ecuador. Just to so dream. Anthony collects these. We're gonna get him um, a stupid idiotic penny. So we're spending a dollar to ruin a penny. Right. Please, please stay. Just turn it. Oh. Oh, it picks for you. We have to spend four dollars to ruin four pennies and possibly not even get the same one that we need. What'd you get? It stupid idiotic my suggestion box. It's a toilet. I feel like that's perfect for I feel Anthony. like that nailed it for him. So we were gonna go on the roller coaster at New York, New York, but it's forty dollars for me and Joe to go one time on the roller coaster and my cheapness kicked in and I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. So we found some place to eat. We're walking back on the other side, on the MGM Grand side, and we came across this place called Fat Burger. Sounds like something we would love. You can absolutely make this keto. Beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Here's what we did. We got a triple XL burger, which is one and a half pound burger. We're splitting it. We're not each eating them. Although we could both eat them. We could, but we're gonna eat later, so. Yeah, so we got the triple XL burger, which was $18. No bun, no sides. The only thing we told her is put mustard on the side because we can have mustard. And then we got two sides of egg and two sides of bacon to put it on top. And so it was like 20 bucks, $21. But so both of us eat. For everything. And we're just gonna split that in half because here's what it was. If you bought the half pound burger, it was 12 bucks. But it was $18 to get the one and a half pound burger. So just get one and then cut it in half. And it's cheaper. So I'm not gonna lie, this came out wonderful. Like, this is great. So there's three giant patties there. I think it's a half pound each one. And then there's egg and then there's a bunch of bacon. So we're just gonna split it up. They gave us extra pork. We've got some Redmond. Have Redmond these are shopping. great. You can get these so cheap on their website. It's like, I think two or three dollars for a bag of 50 of them. They're awesome. And they're great for just taking around. And then we have the little mini shaker too, but sometimes it's just nice to have that little packet. And it just well, that was delicious. That was so good. Like I feel really like... impressive for fast food, even though they cook it right there for you. It's not like it's pre-cooked. Right, we could go another 10 hours, I think. That was really, really good. And it was definitely worth the money. And I know some people are going to be like, why would you buy like a one and a half pound burger for $18? But let's look at it this way. We broke it into two. Mm -hmm. So we each had three quarters of a pound of ground beef. Which was good. And then we added on the egg because we couldn't have little lettuce and all of that stuff. So we had egg and bacon. But if you go to McDonald's, and you buy just a couple of burgers, by the time you throw out the burgers and stuff, you have a burger patty like this. Right. So let's say you get like three quarter pounders at McDonald's. Well, that's still only three quarters of a pound of ground beef, and that's gonna cost you more than 10 bucks at McDonald's. And it's like really tiny ground beef when it's done cooked. Exactly, cooking. so you have to look at like the big picture, you know, Per burger, yes, it's cheaper to go to McDonald's, but you're gonna need so many more burgers to, to equal the amount of food that yeah. we got. I mean, that was legitimately filling. And I can tell you in the past, I could eat three quarter pounders at, from McDonald's with the bread and Easily. still not be full. So this was all that was missing from my pirate mom costume on the last keto on the couch, right? Just needed the boat to really make it look authentic. So here we are, arg. Well, I'm super bummed. We still cannot get cell service. There's just zilcho way we can do a live stream tonight, which is making me really mad. Yeah, it's just, it, I mean, we got service, but it's in and out and it's spotty and web pages take It's gonna be time. like that buffering nonsense that's so frustrating so when you're yeah. watching. So we're canceling our live stream tonight. We just got back to uh, Treasure Island where we had parked 
It was, now, a, it was a hike. It was a hike. Uh, let me say. Let yeah, me, how many miles have we, we gone today? 11.83 miles. I am happy to report to Coach Bronson tonight that I more than got my 15 minutes in. Yes, yeah, so we. Uh, that was a nice walk. It ended up getting a little warm. Yeah. And, and now it's cooling down a little bit. I'm starting to be like, yeah, I need my sweatshirt again. So we're going to go back to the hotel. We're going to freshen up. And then we are going to where? Fogo de Chao. Well, we don't look too fancy, but we are clean. I just wanted to make sure we didn't smell like walking around all day before <sighs> we met everybody to go to Fogo de Chao. Who so, are we even meeting? I don't even know. There's like 20 people. I'm super excited. So I know Chris and Chris, Steve and Autumn, Autumn and Richard. Mm -hmm. I know and Bronson. Bronson. I mean, there's just Abby from House of Keto, just tons of people. So I'm excited. I do not have vegetables slowing me down. So you watch. I'm sitting next to Bronson. He was flipping that card before I flip my card. Oh, That's Bronson. Rachel's saying she's going to she's gonna beat you because there's no vegetables there's no this vegetables time. to slow me down this time. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to try to keep him monologuing. You know, just monologue and like talk, and I'm gonna just subtly eat yeah, it's everything. We should have brought a scale with us so we can eat weigh everything. While we're next trip, next trip, we bring a scale. Next time, we're waiting. Oh, I'm I'm eating no, no, no. You're eating cheese, she's gonna eat more meat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, how are you doing there? I am still going strong. I still have green up. There's a part of me that's like, Rachel, you're slowing down. You are slowing down. But there's such fatty cuts of meat. It's so delicious. But it does fill you up. Look at that waste of a bacon over there. I, there's sugar on the bacon. There's sugar on the, sugar bacon. On the bacon. Why is there sugar on the bacon? Don't put sugar on your bacon. You don't need sugar. It made me so sad because look at this. I was very excited. This is my appetizer. This is what happens when you get a bunch of keto and carnivore people and they show up in the Brazilian steakhouse. We yeah. eat them out of house. And look at this table. You got Roy down there, Chris. You have Greg. You have Autumn and Richard. Logan. Dave Feldman down there on the end. Abby. Can we talk about the tablecloths though? Don't they, they have to just throw them out after every single time? Cheers. Look at that gorgeous meat. Oh, look at all, look at all that fat. <laughs> That is delicious. Thank you very much. Look at this. He's just like, I'll take the whole thing. It's perfectly cooked. It is really good. It's perfectly cooked. I mean, it's, it's like the, the piece of meat that not everybody wants, but they're cooking that perfect. I'm going to tell you right now, I am going to regret this. Why? I should not finish the night with coffee, but I didn't get my cup of coffee and I'm owed a cup of coffee. And so here it goes. Got you pumpkin flavor. Thank you very much. It's very weird going into a 7-Eleven and seeing slot machines in 7-Eleven. They have slot machines? Yeah, there's two slot machines in the corner. So you can go get slot machines. I also got butter for the morning. Yeah. Thanks to 7-Eleven. It reminded me, like, you know, you, you sometimes you used to be able to buy, like, cigarette singles. They sell single butter sticks. You bought cigarette singles? No, some of the bars, like... Would sell a cigarette. Yeah, a single a one. single cigarette. One match. They're called Lucy's. Like a Lucy? Lucy you, you got a Lucy butter. A Lucy butter. Yeah, because I guess you could tell they're just breaking open the box and selling it that way. But huh. Who needs four sticks of butter in the middle of a Las Vegas strip? Right? I don't know. Maybe I do. <laughs> Got some water. That's good. And uh, yeah, because we do have a refrigerator here. We keep shaking the table. It, it's always weird when you, I mean, I, I'm not too like cool for tap water. Yep. Um, but every single time you come to a new state, the water tastes different. Well, we're from Florida. Our water is just horrible. Coming out of that. You don't want to drink Florida. But it's water. always, you're always just a little off. Yeah. Right, because and it, and it's already weird enough because you're using ice and that's made from the water here. So sometimes I like to get just bottled water when you're in a new state until I get used to the water. Yeah, dinner was oh. amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, right now I feel like I'll never have to eat again. I'm that content. You mean right now though? You're, right. You're saying right now. I'm pretty sure you're gonna want to eat tomorrow. Maybe we're gonna go right. back there tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> I'd be fine with that. Because I know it seems expensive. Yeah, it, it, it is. It, is it expensive at 30 to $60 yes. depending on what time and where you go? Yeah. But let's look at what you're getting. You right. know, I know we've gone to like Texas Roadhouse and spent $75 to $100 and all we get is steak and we broccoli. We spent that much at Chili's. Oh, yeah. And I don't even know what in the if, world we got there. If you go out to a restaurant, even not on keto... 
and you get, you know, an appetizer and a dessert, it's easily a hundred bucks for two people now. I mean, you, you can't go out for $30 anymore, at least not to a halfway decent restaurant. I'm not even talking about a fancy one. I'm talking about like a chain restaurant, like going to Carabas or, or Applebee's. It's going to cost you 75 to a hundred dollars if you're getting a dessert and appetizer. Well, here, just unlimited meat. Well, I just eat all the meat you want. I remember when we stopped going to Cracker Barrel because it was like ten dollars for Uncle Herschel's breakfast, and I was like, "Well, that seems like a lot, you know, yeah. to to feed everybody." But yeah, I like the fact that you go and you're getting the good stuff, the right. choice things. Like I definitely ate more than a twenty dollars steak or thirty dollars worth of steak. Right. If I was buying it in the grocery store and making it myself. I'd almost be spending thirty dollars well, at this especially point. Especially here in Vegas, as we were walking around today, the restaurants that were inside of the hotels it's like twenty five dollars for a hamburger. Twenty five dollars for a hamburger, like thirty dollars for this. And again, you're getting a predetermined portion. So mm -hmm. at least here, I, I think the worst mistake is to be opening up Brazilian steakhouses to keto and carnivore oh, people, I right? Know. And like if we had a sign, they'd be like, Oh no, you're not coming in here. I mean Oh my gosh, guys, the amount of meat that Bronson was eating, he was he sitting eat. across from Logan and Logan is like, are you kidding me? Like we were all done. Tags turned over, everything red. Just give him the spit. And they literally brought over the spit and he was like, keep going, keep going. But it was such beautiful cuts of meat. Yeah. It was just top quality meat. And that, you know, that makes you want to enjoy it more. Yeah. I mean, this, it was Perfectly cooked. It's amazing. Perfect that amount of fat. We until last year had never been to a Brazilian steakhouse. But we live in South Florida. Right? That's a sin. <laughs> Chris and Miriam from Utah had to show us what we were missing. I don't know. But well, now, now we're enjoying it. Now we, we really do enjoy it. It's not like we go out a lot. It's just like special occasion like this. We only reason we went with Anthony is because we had we were doing beef butter, bacon, and egg. And when you're only eating that it makes you, it real simple. You want to get your value, right? Yeah. Again, we went to that burger place for lunch and, you know, that was a lot of meat for just $20. Well, and going to the Brazilian steakhouse after you've been doing so much cooking, that dinner that took us, you know, a good hour to eat it. Mm -hmm. But it took hours upon hours to cook it. We we were there. You didn't have to cook that. We were there for like two hours. That was a lot of time investment. Like yeah. I, you don't you want to go back and like hug the chef and be yeah. like, buddy, I know what you've been going through. I know the love that you poured into this meat that you provided. The only thing better than your dinner was the company. Oh my goodness, yes. It's so cool to just hang out with. You know, Logan and Autumn. And I mean, we didn't get the chance to talk to Dave Feldman because he was at the other end of the table. Yeah, with Roy. With Roy and Abby. And Abby. But we'll, we'll hang out with them a little bit tomorrow. We'll talk to them during the day. But it was just, just so nice. It was just so much fun to just kind of hang out and kind of sit back. It's, and it's everybody's just like, got the same agenda. Everybody just wants, everybody to, wants to help, help people. people. And that's why I love about all of the people in the keto space. It's just like being with family. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up. It has been a long day, a lot of miles walked. We're gonna wrap it up. Wrap it up. In wrapped butter. Nice. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.